So here's the story. You have a tornado, and this doesn't happen very often for us here in North Texas, but we have a tornado-worn storm that is going to be upgraded from a considerable tornado-worn storm, and that means that we've got a serious situation on our hands right now, and that serious situation is about ready to move into Sulphur Springs, into the city of Sulphur Springs. So I want you to do this. If you live in the city of Sulphur Springs or anywhere around Sulphur Springs, go to your safe room immediately. You know where that is. If you don't, it's the lowest floor of your home, okay? I want you to stay away from windows. I want you to go to the interior of your room. Why? Because people get killed from flying debris and flying glass. If you're near the outside walls, you don't have enough protection. You need to be, you need to put as many walls between you and the outside as possible. Don't go out on the porch. Don't go out in the backyard and check out what's going on. Just go to your room right now. All of this stuff that we're doing, all of our broadcasting right now on, on TV, we're also doing it on our app. We're also doing it on WFA.com. Take your phone, go into your safe room because any, in just a couple of minutes, this storm system right now, a very dangerous, a, a, we have confirmation right now of this storm system right now at 519. So just a few seconds ago, we have confirmation that a very large and an extremely dangerous tornado was located near Cumby. It's located near Cumby right now, and it's about eight miles southwest of Sulphur Springs, and it's moving northeast at 50. So it's eight miles away, and it's moving northeast at 50 to 55 miles an hour. That puts it in Sulphur Springs in just a couple of minutes. So you need to be in your safe place in Sulphur Springs right now. Lowest floor of the house. If you live in an apartment, get to know your neighbors down on the first floor if you're up on a, a second floor or higher. Uh, an interior room away from windows, maybe go into the bathroom, get into the bathtub. This is a serious situation. This is not a Doppler radar indicated tornado. We have chasers, we have spotters that are there right now and they're telling us, hey, we've got a large tornado, an extremely dangerous, a large tornado that's on the ground. It's happening right now. We know that, we have eyes on it. People have just saw it in Cumby and it's moving toward you in, in, in Sulphur Springs. So right now we're watching, uh, we have folks in our newsroom that are talking to me and telling us that we have video of a tornado that's near Sulphur Springs. They're watching it right now. Uh, do we have that, Danny? I know you're, uh, you're in my ear. Do we have any video that we can get on the air? Or Jason or Jesse, do we have any video that we can put on the air right now of this large tornado that we know is on the ground? People are telling me that it's on the ground right now and it's almost in Sulphur Springs. Okay, so right now uh, we're literally looking, yeah, we're watching this move towards Sulphur Springs at this moment. It is going to be crossing, you know, really almost into the, the, the city proper, if you will. It's there. Remember, it's northeast, it's forward speed was... The forward speed, and we're, we're working on getting that video. We will have that hopefully for you here in, in, very, uh, in just a couple of minutes. But right now, we continue to watch this. We continue to watch this storm as it moves towards Sulphur Springs. You can take that rotation off because the rotation right now uh, puts this in, uh, in, it's in Hopkins County. It's right in Sulphur Springs. And Jesse, it's over the city of Sulphur Springs right now. We told folks the lowest level of their house, go to their safe room, uh, and, and please uh, watch what we're telling you here because you are definitely not in the clear, but right now this tornado is in Sulphur Springs. It's very near downtown Sulphur Springs. It's a large, it's confirmed, it's large, it's dangerous, and it's moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. Jesse, what advice do you have for folks here? One thing we mentioned to folks earlier today before thunderstorms started erupting was that there was the chance for significant <clears throat> tornadoes. Now, every tornado, of course, is significant where it hits, but we're talking EF2 or higher strength, and it's very possible that's what we're dealing with here based on some of the uh, reports we're seeing come out, based on some of the velocity scans we're seeing right now. And Sulphur Springs, you know, you, this is just not the time to look outside. I'm not, this is not, you know, a joke where you just go outside and take a look. There is a tornado confirmed in this area and it's moving right toward the city, right near I-30. So we're really concerned about this. And, uh, you know, the fact that we have it observed and Pete, it's moving, the, the storm yeah. itself, the rotation, 55 miles per hour. There's no time to react. 
you're not going to be able to see it like you do in the movies and then run away. It's 55 miles an hour. Yeah, and it's, it's on top of Sulphur Springs right now, isn't it? Yes, yeah. it is. It's moving into the city right now. Yeah, it's moving into the city right now. So, so it's, it's, it's in the process of crossing. It's moving into downtown Sulphur Springs in the process of, uh, of, of moving into downtown, crossing I-30 moving right into downtown uh, Sulphur Springs right now. So if you live anywhere in this area, you need to be in your safe room right now. If you live north of Sulphur Springs, I mentioned Dyke. There's Mahoney. Here's Dyke up here. <clears throat> you don't want to take this, this too lightly. This is not our, just our typical run-of-the-mill fall thunderstorm. Remember, we have a secondary severe weather season in North Texas. This is it right now. This is autumn in North Texas. This is our secondary severe weather season, and we're very, very concerned that's why there is a, a warning that's been put out that signifies and tells us, not only do we know it's on the ground, we know it's already created damage, we know it was spotted in Cumbie, we know it's moving toward you in Sulphur Springs, but there's considerable concern right now. So when you have a tornado warning that's upgraded to considerable, that's, that's something to take note of. Any tornado warning, you have to be alert and a heads up and certainly take note of it. But I tell you what, for goodness sakes, you don't want to take this one too lightly. It's on top of you in Sulphur Springs right now. Uh, we will talk to some emergency management folks. Cynthia, I know you and Chris are here as well. I don't know if you guys are hearing anything, but just, uh, just, uh, just get my attention and let me know if you, uh, if you hear of anything or if you see any reports of any damage. There it is. That's the latest scan and Jesse, as we look at the latest scan, we have the velocity data on there right now. And that, uh, 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 that velocity data, what it shows is it shows the, 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 the winds within the storm going toward the radar and away from the radar. And look at the, the, the spin that we have here aloft with this uh, thunderstorm right now that is in the city of Sulphur Springs. Jesse, considerable concern and damage and a life-threatening situation right now. And I'll tell you what, I mean, this, there's no hyperbole here. When I'm saying these words that we're concerned about this being a, a life or death situation, when you have a, a, a large tornado that's been confirmed and it's moving toward an area like Sulphur Springs, man, you've got to, uh, you've got to pay attention and don't take this too lightly. Uh, my hope is something happens and maybe it just lifts, lifts up at the last minute and misses town. But right now, uh, it doesn't appear by what we're seeing, it doesn't appear that this is, this is taking place. Jesse, do you have any damage reports, anything coming out of Sulphur Springs? I mean, it's ongoing right now, whatever's taking place, and I'm not hearing from our storm chasers at this moment. So, so what I have here, I've found a stream of a storm chaser named Brett Adair, and I'd like uh, if Danny or somebody, one of the producers can, can try to reach out. I see a stream of the wall cloud in that area. Uh, it's being obstructed by some trees, but I will tell you this, the wall cloud, very stout, very well defined, uh, low hanging. I can't imagine that we don't have a serious situation happening right now with, with a tornado doing some damage uh, in Sulphur Springs. And, and he's looking toward it, but you, just based on the velocity alone, based on what I'm seeing on this video, I, we can't emphasize this enough. This is a serious wall cloud that I see over here, Pete. We really need everyone to get in shelter now.